This is the second part of the tutorial for the Gear Cubes Extreme and Ultimate. In the last part, we finished solving all of the middle band and these corners. In this part, I'm going to show you how to position these gears into the appropriate places. So for this one, I use two algorithms, and the first one I use, if the red were to be the front side, this gear will move here, this one will move here, this one will move back here, so there's a cycle going this way. And then, there's another cycle from this one moving to here, now I'm moving to there, and now I'm moving to there. So in this rotation. So what I want to do first is I want to have the p any piece that I'm going to put down to the blue side up on the green side first. And from there, I want to put it over here so that I can make this rotation move around. So the piece that's up here will come down to here. And since this green, and uh, this blue and purple is already solved, I want to do the blue and orange next. Right now, it's over here. So I'm going to start with the yellow in front. This one will this will move this gear up to here. So first, so so the algorithm for this is R. You invert it. R inverted, U five times. R U inverted, R inverted, U three, four, five. Now this blue and orange is up here in the right spot. And now I want to put it down here. So I'm going to move this green side over so it's up here. And again, the cycle goes this way. And from here, I'm going to do the same exact algorithm. R U inverted, R inverted, U five times. And that puts that in the correct position. And this blue and purple doesn't change at all. So these two are good. Next, I want this blue and red to come down here. But this one, I can't just do this because I need the blue and yellow piece to be over here, which it already is. So in this case, it's okay to just do it right away. But in case this blue and yellow was not here, I want to make sure I get the blue and yellow down here while keeping this blue and red up here first. Because in that way, I can move this one here, that one up there, and this blue and red piece down here at the same time and solve both of these simultaneously. So from here, I'm going to have the yellow side at the front again. Same algorithm. R, you invert it. R inverted, U five times, four, five. Now all of the blue side is complete. Now this side, I'm looking at it and there's only three of them that are incorrect. And for this one, I'm going to use my second algorithm first to swap just these two. That will get this green and purple here, and then all I have to swap is these two afterwards. So for this one, I'm going to have the two I'm swapping in front. I'm going to do 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. That also swaps this, but I need this to be swapped to complete the algorithm again for here. So from here, I'm going to move the two pieces that are unsolved over to here and do the same exact algorithm, except I'm going to do that twice to get both greens up here, and then twice again to get both greens back down here in the correct order. So starting with the two that are unsolved on the left and right, and the other two on the front and right, I'm going to do the same algorithm as before, R, U inverted, R inverted, U five times, three. 4, 5, and then directly from here it's again, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, as I said before, I want to put them in the correct order. So first I'm going to have the green and red go down. That will come down here, and then I can move the green and yellow down here. At the same time, the green and red will move over here, so they'll both be solved. So I'm going to start with the green and red, keep the red in front, same algorithm again. And then green and yellow comes down next. R, U inverted, R inverted, U five times. 
and that solves it. Now sometimes this turns out complete directly. In this case you just have to swap these two and then these two. And that one doesn't cause much of a problem because using the method earlier I can do 2r, 2u, 2r, 2u. And that solves these, messes up these two. But now I'll bring this one over and do the same exact algorithm. 2r, 2u, 2r, 2u. And that gets all of them in the correct place. So now I have to do the same for the ultimate. The only difference is these. The greens and, bl and blues can be on the opposite side like this one. The green should be up here even if it's on the wrong side. So I'm going to find any of them that are already solved, if there are any. In this case, there's this green and yellow. So the next piece I want to get is this green and red. And to do this, I'm going to do the same thing, just bring this one up here first. The orange in the front and make sure that the piece that's solved isn't in the way. R, U inverted, R, inverted, U, five times. Now I have it up here. And now, this is where you have to know the extra details about this algorithm. So, what I, when I put this one down here, whichever color is up on here will appear on the side. So th the green will appear here. But I don't want that. I want the red to appear here. So before I bring it down to this side, I want to swap this around. So to do that, I'm going to bring it to the back side here. And if I keep it in the back and do the same algorithm, this piece will stay on the top, but it will flip around. So the same algorithm. R, U inverted, R inverted, U five times. And now it's still on the blue side. Everything else is still intact. And the, then the red is on the top. Now this piece will move down here with the red on the red side. So same algorithm. That piece is good. Now I need these two. And if I put this in right now, it's not going to work. Because this one, also, when it moves over to here, it will flip around and then move over. So although the green piece is down here, it's going to end up up here. And this purple piece will move down here. And also, this one has the green side up. So if I bring it down as it is, the green side will appear on the orange side, which is not what I want. So to prevent that, I don't want to put this... Yes, well, I'm going to put this back here first so I can swap this around. And from here, just do the same move twice to bring this green and purple piece up to the blue side. So first, the algorithm once. Now make sure that this green and orange isn't over here or here. If it's over here, it'll get swapped again, which is not what I want. And if it's over here, it's going to come down here, which is not what I want. But if you keep them, keep the piece in this or this p position, then they'll just move around, but they are going to stay on the same side and the same side up. So from here, I'm going to do the same algorithm one more time to bring this one up here. I'm just going to move it here for now. Okay, now, as you can see, there's a green piece up here. And I want it to be like that, because this piece has to come down here first, which will have the green side showing up. But then when I swap it again, it's going to come over here, and it's going to switch around. So the green side will be on the bottom, as I want it. And this green and orange piece will also come down with the orange on the orange side. So I'm going to start with the green and purple on the left. Purple in front, same algorithm. Now one more time with this green and orange. And now this whole green side is complete. Now I just have to worry about these. And this looks exactly like the one from before, where only three of them are swapped, except these two are also swapped around. So this may take a bit longer than before. So again, like before, I'm going to swap these two first. R2, 2U, 2R, 2U. 
And then from here, I'm going to first have the two pieces that are incomplete on the left and right, and these two on the front and right. And first, I'm going to bring both these up and swap positions and put them back down. So the same thing as before. Same algorithm, twice in a row. So I just did the same algorithm twice. Now I'm going to have the blue here, blue and red here, and then the blue and orange here, so that the red can come down first. And then when the blue and orange comes down here, it'll replace the red, and the red will come over here. So from here, same algorithm twice in a row, without stopping. Once. Twice. Now it's like that. Now, I'm going to swap these both around, doing the same exact thing as before. And now I just want to have these two that have the swap sides on the left and right. So again, two of them in a row. That's twice in a row. Now blue and red here with the blue side up. And the blue and orange here with the orange side up. Same thing twice. And that's solved. And at the same time, these two are also complete.